Hey there, here's a uh, short video in response to your question about what does auto braking do. Uh, what I have here is a simple scene where we've got a cube that has a nav mesh agent attached to it along with a script that basically tells this nav mesh agent to go after this target which is the cube right here. Uh, in terms of how it works, uh, if we look at the nav mesh agent, we have a speed set of 20 that controls how fast this cube will go. We have an acceleration of 20. Acceleration controls both acceleration and deceleration. So with acceleration of 20, it basically says how fast will this cube ramp up to the speed of 20. And once the cube reaches, for example, the stopping distance of 7.5, speed uh, acceleration will affect how fast this cube will decelerate to ultimately zero. Now, uh, I already covered the stopping distance, but the stopping distance affects uh, at which distance from the target the cube will basically shut off its motor function, so which is when it's going to begin to decelerate. Um, we have auto braking on, so if I hit play, we'll see what the normal behavior prior to the introduction of auto braking was, because auto braking was sort of the default, uh, although it was not exposed. So if I hit play, you'll see the cube runs towards the sphere and then it stops right in front of the, sp the sphere. Now, if I play that again, the issue um, when we could not control auto braking is the way, you know, personally that I, I suggested to Unity to do this is it would be nice to have the momentum of the cube dictate whether it stops short, uh, right on target, or past the target. In this case, with auto braking on, the cube always stops like magically right dead on in front of the object as if hitting some magical barrier. Now if we disable auto braking based on the speed and the acceleration slash deceleration we'll see that the cube begins to decelerate and actually overshoots the target based on its own momentum. Now if I was to for example increase the braking um, or the deceleration to 35 now we'll see that the cube stops actually before the target um, because now it doesn't have enough momentum and the deceleration is faster. Ultimately that makes for a more uh, realistic behavior as opposed to hitting this weird magical wall. I suggested to Unity that they decouple um, acceleration from deceleration uh, which didn't happen but that's okay. Uh, in the end via script we can easily control um, acceleration as the object leaves, you know, whatever from a speed zero, and as you get within the distance of your target, you could easily via a script set an acceleration to a higher level to better control your stopping distance. So anyway, so uh, this is it for the video. I hope it answered your question. If you have any additional questions or feedback, please let me know. Thanks.